everybody, it's Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an animal bite wound kind of makeup inspired by the Haunted Mansion character of the stretching portrait of the tightrope walker. So the tightrope walker is this cute little girl and she's just sitting on her tightrope or standing on her tightrope I should say and she is above um, a crocodile with its jaws like wide open. So it's kind of evident what happens to her after that portrait is taken. Um, but I'm going to show you what would happen if she survived that. So I'm going to have animal bite wounds on my face, I'm going to have scratches, and all that stuff using SFX makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll go right to the voiceover. Bye! Alrighty guys, so we're going to be starting off with some Prosade adhesive, and we are going to be putting this all over the areas where we want to put down our scar wax. This is going to help the scar wax stick a little better and not lift up when we mess with it. And you will be able to tell when the adhesive is dry, when it turns clear, kind of like an eyelash glue. Next, we're going to be taking Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax and some Isopropyl Mirror State, which is a kind of oil-based makeup remover, and we're going to be molding the wax onto my face. It's best to use an oil-based makeup remover when working with this stuff because it is kind of difficult to work with without it. It's very sticky, and it's just very unruly if you try to do it without any sort of makeup remover in hand. And I'm just smoothing out the edges with a q-tip covered in the makeup remover. And I would work little chunks by little chunks because it is once again very unruly to work with and I would just suggest building up because it's easier to build up than to take away in a situation like this. Then I'm going to be taking this plastic palette knife and I'm going to be poking little divots into the wax. And I did end up taking a little bit off of the bottom because it just didn't fit the shape that I wanted. Now I'm going to be taking the Ben Nye Cream Paint with the red and the purple shade from the Age FX, and I'm going to be using some isopropyl alcohol, some 99% again, to dilute it and make it a little bit thinner. And I'm going to be placing that all over our wound, our scar wax, to create a bruised effect. And I'm going to take this little brush and some of the red body paint and I'm going to be placing that inside of the holes that we made. Just to kind of deepen them and start making them look a little bit more bloody. And then I'm going to take some of the purple body paint and I'm going to just be kind of splotching that around the marks and then I'm going to dilute it a little bit with the isopropyl mirror state and just kind of make them blend into the scar wax a little bit to make it look like broken capillaries. Now we're going to take some of the Ben Nye Thick Blood and we are going to be placing that all over the wound. Sorry, I kind of went on a frame here, but I am placing that just in the holes that we made with a Q-tip. And now we do this to the rest of our face. I added a little bit of blood around my mouth and nose as well. I made some scratches and scars. 
Now I'm going to be taking just some black mascara and I'm going to be coating my lashes in that just to make my eyes pop a little more. And as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows off camera. And then we're just going to be taking that red and purple cream paint again and we're going to be taking the little brush because we do not want to put an alcohol soaked sponge under our eyes no alcohol in the eyes please and we are going to just be blending that in to make it look kind of bruised under our eyes this kind of adds to the effect that we were kind of beat up by an animal or a crocodile and we've just kind of won the war i guess but come out a little bit bruised at the end That's it. Okay guys, there you go. This was my tightrope walker. I know I don't really look like her, but I wanted to just show you how to use different materials to kind of make you look a little bit more beat up and um, like you've gotten into a fight with a crocodile basically or some sort of animal. So I thought this would be a good basis for people to start doing different makeups with and um, if you wanted to make yourself look like the tightrope walker after she's been like attacked by the crocodiles, like this is a good place to start. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video and you want to see more of this special effects makeup from me or more Haunted Mansion characters, you can subscribe down below and you can also like the video if you, of course, liked it. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!